Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hello. My name is Brightson and I am a part-time reseller on Poshmark, Mercari, eBay, whatnot, YouTube. <laughs> so here's some everywhere. Um, and today we have a thread up DIY five pound jewelry box. Um, I don't remember when this one came from. We will check the receipt inside. Um, I know I'm going to get a lot of questions about how do I get these boxes. I will tell you, um, as I tell everyone, there is no secret to getting these boxes. There, you ha you cannot get them on the regular ThreadUp page. You have to be on the ThreadUp Rescue Box page. And you have to pull up your phone. You have to put in, you know, go scroll down to where the um, sold out boxes are and you just have to refresh. You refresh over and over and over again. Um, and if you get lucky, you get lucky. If you don't, you just have to try again the next day. Um, ThreadUp has restocked just about every day this week. Um, although I have missed them molt on every day. <laughs> I have missed it on every day. Um, this one is coming from March 11th. This is coming from Suwannee, Georgia. These boxes are $48 plus $10 shipping plus tax. Um, and you... I have never seen jewelry on like a restock day or on a on a discount day, but um, they're almost always this price. They have gone up in price a couple times, but they're almost always this price. But you know, if you can get lucky and find them on a discount day, that's also awesome. Although I've never had it happen. All right. So there, woo, we have some beautiful Aurora Borealis crystals. We have some fun earrings that are very in the style of Kendra. We have some interesting, we have wood beads, acrylic beads. We have some hoops, maybe. Looks like a lot of big chunky pieces, which is not my favorite. I prefer small daintier pieces, but hey, you never know. If we have time in this unboxing, I will also um, be doing my um, turquoise, coral, red jasper, red turquoise lot that I purchased on Shop Goodwill, which um, I paid a lot for, but I'm really excited about it. Okay, so this is our box. I see we do have a watch. So I am going to pause you guys. I am going to um, take a couple screenshots from my thumbnail and I'll be right back. Alrighty, I went ahead to go a couple pictures. Hopefully they turned out okay. Let's get started. They do like to um, tape up these boxes pretty good. Um, I will be going to Nomads, which is the place that I sell my vintage jewelry to on consignment. Um, I will be going back there next week. So hopefully I will have another update for you guys in my next video. Also guys, if you have not watched me before, if you've not hit that subscribe button, please go ahead and do so. I keep forgetting to say that in my videos, but please hit that subscribe button. Please like hit that like button and please leave a comment. Um, I really appreciate it. It really helps out the channel. Also guys, you guys are amazing. You guys got me to 3,500 subscribers this week. Uh, my last video did really good and I got a lot of new friends and thank you, thank you. But still it says 65% of the people that watch my videos are not subscribed. So please make sure to smash that subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it. If there's anything that you would like to purchase from these boxes that I unbox, all you have to do is send me an email at the address on the screen, which is brightenyourday at yahoo.com spelled the exact way that is on the screen. Please spell it exactly like that. Um, and I will need your name, your number, or not your number. <laughs> I will need your name, your address, and your payment information. Um, and if you could, please fill out my jot form link that is in my description. It'll say my jot form. That would be greatly appreciated. All right. Just so I have your information. That is how I keep you guys' information. So when you guys rebuy from me, I have it. Okay, first thing we have are these adorable little turtle earrings. Let's just do $2 on those. Absolutely adorable. 
We have some hoops. Those will just be a dollar. We have, these are pretty. These look like they could be something, but they're broken. No, these are broken. So those go in craft. I will give a price for all the craft that we have. Also guys, we will be, will be doing a giveaway. I want to be doing giveaways every other week. So I will announce the winner for the giveaway um, next week. And then we'll do another giveaway the week after. So every week we will either have a giveaway or be announcing the giveaway winner. So make sure to come back every week. <laughs> this is pretty. This, I don't see any more. Oh, it's Banana Republic. So there's a little BR in there. Um, it's really pretty. Unfortunately, we do have some wear. It's mostly like in the inside. Oh, we're missing some stones. So that's just going to be a craft. Anyone likes that. All right. And I, again, I will be doing a price for all the craft at the end. Looks like we have a lot of hoops. Like a lot of hoops. Like a ton of hoops. Someone must have sent in like their whole hoop collection. Okay. Also, guys, I brought back my peep lights. Okay, let's do these. These are really cute um, faux tort um, earrings. They are two and a quarter. Let's do two dollars on the faux tort hoops. Okay, I might just save all of these earrings for the end. I think that's what we're gonna do. I think we're gonna save all of these earrings and we'll just go through them at the end because there's a ton here. So we pull out anything that's not earrings, so if there's any rings or anything. I want to see this. So those ones I'll leave out. Okay, so all of these I'm going to put right here to the side. And we will go through those after we get through everything else. So we have this bracelet. It is like a black rope with gold specks. It has a lot of wear, so that will be going into the craft bin. Depending on the size of the craft bin, um, that is how I price it. So this is a really pretty, we're missing a stone. Again, that will be craft. Let me lower you guys a little bit. There we go. We'll be going into craft. Okay, these are really pretty earrings. I don't know, but we have the matching necklace right here. Okay, we're gonna put these to the side and then hopefully um, I'll put the necklace and the hollow brand on it. Okay. But I know that's a brand, I just can't think of it. Uh, I'll take back what I said about this being a, a lot of chunky stuff. <laughs> okay, so this is a really pretty clamper bracelet. We are missing one big faux pearl right there. So that will be going into the craft. Actually, you know what? I think I'm going to keep this craft piece. I'm gonna craft, I'm gonna keep this craft piece for me to craft with. That'll look cool in a fairy door. So this is one huge tangle. So that could mean that there's something really good in here because you know, the people at Thread Up, they don't wanna untangle things. They see something's hard to get untangled. They're just gonna be like, throw that in right in that DIY box. Just good for us. Not good for untangling tangles, but good that we may find gold and sterling and who knows what else in there. This kind of looks like it could be something. Okay, we have earring, put those to the side. We have an Alex and Ani. This one's in really good condition. This is the Aquarius from January 20th to uh, February 20th, uh, 18th. It is a matte gold tone, it's in excellent condition. Let's do uh, $4 on this one. It's an excellent, like, new condition. So $4 for that one. All right. Earrings, earrings, earrings. Earrings. Oh, this one does have a match. These are really pretty. They are marked on the back. Bobble bar. So these are really awesome. They are very statement piece. Let's do um, $4 for these bobble bar earrings. Those are awesome. They're quite the statement. Okay. All right. 
Um, I tried to untangle this. I got most of the untangle out. It's still a little tangled right here. But we have another item that has that little logo, which I don't think that's Rustic Cuff, and I don't think that is Sea Wonder, so I can't remember who, whose logo that is. So um, this is another piece. I don't have to look up, and I'm going to put it with that other pair of earrings. They all have that same logo on it. Okay, this has some wear. Yeah, the stretch was really bad on that. I do like these pieces. I think those would be kind of cool on my fairy doors. So I might hold on to that piece for my fairy doors. Okay, next we have a faux pearl strand. This looks very vintage. Always check the inside of the hooks and the outside of the hook. This is really nice. These are acrylic or I'm not really sure what kind of beads those are. But this is definitely vintage. It is a 18 inch plus a oh, three inch extender. Yeah, 18 inch plus a three inch extender. Let's do um, $4 on this vintage necklace. I love the um, like iridescent kind of cream gold. So $4 for that one. Okay, this looks like sterling. And if it is, this is mine. I love this inlaid turquoise and I believe soda light. I don't know. But this is strictly like what I love. This is exactly kind of like Zuni style almost. Love inlaid stones and of course turquoise. Um, let's see. Love that clasp. And it is Mart. Mex Taxco, I think. And then with a name right above it. So this is signed. This is a signed piece. Um, I just don't, I can't make out what that says. And then um, Mex Texco or TX and then some numbers. So Texco. Um, this is amazing. Um, let's see if it fits. Oh, it fits me perfectly. Oh, that's perfect. Okay. And by the way, the ring that I'm wearing, it is sterling. And I thought it was going to be a star sapphire. It's just glass, but I thought it was just so awesome. Love that. And I'm going to be wearing this bracelet for the rest of the video. Okay. Let's see. We have some hoops. Those will just be a dollar. All these will go on the side. And we have the match to this, but I'm just going to do all of those at the end of the video. Okay, this is pretty. Check those stretch bracelets, guys. I always do it inside out to go around the whole circumference. Nothing there. Again, this would be a really cool fairy door piece. So that's when we go with my fairy door pieces. I'm getting some cool crafting pieces for my fairy doors. So that's good. We have these little hearts. It kind of looks like it could be sterling, maybe. This is all tangled. Oh, this came untangled out of it. Let's see. Also, guys, um, again, if there's anything in this video you want to purchase from me, all you have to do is send me an email. Um, give me your information. I Please know I only do accept Cash App, Venmo, and Zelle. I do not take PayPal. So just keep that in mind. This is a really pretty, very dainty little necklace. It is a toggle in the front with a little heart with a cutout star. It is a 15 inch necklace. Let's just do $2 on it. Okay. There we go. Pretty. We're getting some really pretty earrings. I will say that. Like, that's a pretty um, pendant. Okay, we got, looks like we have the match to this heart. Kiki. Kiki Laura, Lori. I don't know. It's all tangled in here. Um, all right, we're just gonna move this to the side, and we will untangle that later, along with that. Okay, and I will untangle it. All right, this is heavy. Well, this is a Michael Kors. This thing is like crazy. This probably weighs like a pound. So this is a matte gold tone watch. So Pretty good condition. There's like a little spot there. There's some light scratches. 
There's a little bit of wear right here on the face. Um, there is some wear on the glass. I think most of the wear can just get cleaned up with a wet one um, or baby wipe. Let's see. The buttons work. So I'll have to put some information on the screen. I will be selling all my watches as is. I do not fix them up. That is a really nice watch. Let's look into that one. Okay, this is a stunning earring. This is marked with a dot within a dot. That's usually Avon, but this does not look like something Avon normally does. These are rice pearls. That's stunning. So I don't think that's Avon, but we'll put to the side. Okay, we have a little stretch bracelet that'll just go into craft. All right, so let's see. This is a really pretty carved mother of pearl shell on what I would assume would be like a gold filled chain. Yeah, 120th 14K. It is a 16 inch drop carved mother of pearl on a 14 karat gold filled chain. Very nice. All right, we have a little leather earring. Okay, let's see. Okay, this is Mart, Marjorie something. It's like embossed leather. So there's her logo. M-A-R-G-E-R-I-E, -E, Marjorie. It's like this big cotton linen flower on this long wooden, um, that's going over to the side. Long wooden chain. Let's get a measurement. It is a 72 inch over the head necklace, a 36 inch drop since there is no clasp. So 36 inch drop, 72 inch total, no clasp. So um, I'm gonna have to have some info on the screen about that one. That could be something good. All right. We have these really pretty um, gold tone flower earrings. If anyone likes those, they'll just be $2 like those. All right, this is cool. These I think are all acrylic. Yeah, this is Mart. Oh, this is Lydell. This is Lydell NYC. That is a designer. I don't know if it's like a high-end designer, but it is a name brand. It's like a mustardy yellow orange with these a few little green ones right here. You get a measurement. It is a 19 inch drop, no extender. I'll have price on the screen. Really nice. My Dell. It's a name brand. I'll take it. Okay, we did get the match to these. There's a little bit of wear on the hoop. We'll just do a dollar on them because you'll never really see it. Um, but I'll just throw those in craft. So I forget what I said. I'll just go into craft. Oh, this is cool. So I think this is a pendant. So this is a piece of quartz. That's a piece of quartz. I'm assuming this is a druzy of some kind. Yes, it goes to quartz amethyst citrine. And then I believe this is a clear quartz. Yep, quartz amethyst citrine. And then that little bead on the top is amethyst. So we have quartz, druzy, and a um, amethyst right there. And it would, the cord would just go right through there. So we'll put that to the side and see if we get anything else that goes with that. And I'm not sure what that is. That'll go in craft. <clears throat> We have a wood stretch bracelet. They're all just going into craft as well. There is some wear. Okay, I wanted to see this stunner. Ooh, I love this. Oh, wow. Can you imagine how much work was put into making this by hand? These are usually Mexican or Native American made. Um, Usually you just go by a soft style, which one you think it is. This goes from a six and three quarters to a seven. So seven to six and three quarters. Absolutely stunning. 
handmade bracelet. This one we're gonna do $10 on. Absolutely amazing. Wow, that's such a stunner. That's amazing. I love that. It's one of my favorite pieces. Okay, and then this has all of its stones on this side. Has all of its stones on this side. So that is a great sign. No marking on the hook. This is a th gorgeous, absolutely stunning three strand necklace of all Aurora, Aurora, Aurora Borealis um, AB crystal faceted beads. Absolutely stunning. Um, this goes from a, to the shortest, a 14 and a half to the longest of 16 and a half. Um, so 14 to 16 or 14 half to 16 and a half. Really pretty necklace. Let's do, um, $20 on this one. So $20 on that. That is absolutely stunning. One of my favorite pieces so far. We're getting all my favorite pieces at the end. I'm not sure what this is. This is weird. Okay. <gasps> we have another one. OMG. <gasps> this one's a four strander. Five strands? Oh my gosh. We have five strands. <gasps> all right. I kind of sort of untangled it. It's a little tangled, but it's not too, too bad. So we have one, two, three, four, five strands of Aurora Borealis rhinestones or um, um, glass crystal beads, all faceted cut. Absolutely amazing. Let's get a length on it. Okay, so from the shortest, it is 14 all the way up to a 16. So 14 is 16. That doesn't make sense. Hold on. 13, 13 to 16, 13 to 16, something along those lines, guys. I've never seen a five strander before. Let's do $30 on the five strand. I don't know if that's too much. I don't know if that's too little. I, I'm going strictly off what I would want from it because I'll list this for like $65, $75. So let's do 30 for this one. That's, I mean, look at the, look at the flash on that. Absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. Okay. This reminds me of Alexis Batar. I do not see her maker's mark. Um, there is some wear to it. So I'm going to put this aside. We'll do a little research on that just to make sure it's on an unmarked piece. This is a Godspeed, which um, says Journey, Blessings, and Grace. Let's do that one for $4 as well. It's an excellent condition. An antique to matte gold tone. Nowhere on the bangle. A little bit right here, and that's just from it opening and closing. So $4 for that one. We have a vintage button. Put that to the side. Okay. All right, Ooh, we have another Alex and Ani. This, says, um, this one says Builder. No, it says Visionary Detail Builder 22, Alex and Ani 2017. I don't know what that means. Maybe you do. Um, Again, let's just do $4 on it. Really nice. Again, in really good condition. Cool. Okay. We have some more turquoise, it looks like. Um, let's see. This is nice. It does have some wear on the clasp. I'll just be going into the craft bin. Okay, we have this necklace that is a faux turquoise acrylic. It does have some light wear on the toggle, um, but it's gorgeous, gorgeous beads on here. We're just going to do $2 on it if anyone wants it. It's about 17 inches. Let's do $2 on that. I just think those beads are just gorgeous. Okay, this is still Tangled. I think this little cross is stir. Oh my gosh. <gasps> we have James Avery. We have James Avery, guys. Holy moly. Let me get this untangled. 
Okay, guys, this thing is, like, so tangled in this necklace. Like, come on. All right. All right, there we go. OMG, we have James Avery. Now, I would assume that the chain is also James Avery. Let's see. It is. It is marked Avery Sterling. And then on the back side, 925. It Avery Sterling 925. Then we have this little itty bitty cross charm that is also marked with the candlestick and I believe also marked JA. It is. So we have a James Avery little itty bitty chain. This maybe is a children's necklace. It is 12 inch chain. The pendant is about a uh, half an inch, a little just shy of half an inch. And that's crazy. James Avery, let's test it. All right. We have Sterling. We have Sterling. All right, so we have James Avery. That's crazy. All right, so I just had to put that up. Um, this is James Avery. So amazing. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right. Let's see. This could also be sterling, I think. We will test it just to see. So we have um, turquoise. So it is a vintage screw barrel clasp. The clasp will not be sterling. But these little beads look like they are sterling. So we have turquoise in maybe amber or bakelite. I'm not sure. And then we have little, little angel wings. So that's cool. We will test that. All right. Man, we got some good stuff. All right, so that's everything in the bag. Okay. Okay, let's see. This is a black rope with all of these like fabric covered beads. This will just be going into craft. Okay, this is also going to be going into craft. This looks like real pearls and sterling. I don't see any maker's marks. This looks like pearls and sterling. It's like a fishnet almost chain mail with all of these gorgeous pearls. I think all the pearls are present. So let's get a length on it. This is a about a 15 inch, about 15 inches. Look at all of these pearls though. There's like so many pearls. It's not like just a strand. They're like all interwoven. Like that is just some crazy amount of work. Just, okay, we're going to be testing that. I love that piece. Okay. And then this one's also going to be going into craft. This is just a little simple black cord. Perfect for um, a gentleman or if you just want to stack it with your like pure vitas or your anything really. Let's just do a dollar on this. Just a woven braided black cord. Okay, this is a black gunmetal has a little bit of wear on the clasp um these are like um let's see I'm not sure what this is black on white so it's not dalmatian jasper it's something else i just can't think of the name of it but um so i would assume these are probably onyx this is handmade i would assume as well it is about an eight and a half it's about an eight and a half inch length. Um, again, there is some wear on the on the um, on the toggle, but I mean, if someone wants it just for the beads alone, I think it's worth at least two dollars. So let's do two dollars on that. Okay, we have some crazy big hoops. There have some wear, so those will be going for craft. All right, we have a vintage J Crew. It's an older one. 
one's really pretty. It is a 15 to 18 inch. It has all of its stunning rhinestones. Now there is some wear on the clasp, but this is an antiqued matte gold tone. So any wear that it has, it just blends right in to the necklace. So let's do, because it has a little bit of wear, let's do $6 on it. But that is just absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. Love that. Okay. It looks like we have that one untangled. Okay, this has a ton of rhinestones on it. I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and assume that there is some missing stones. There's a ton of them here, and I don't know if I can go over the whole thing. If someone wants this, just for all of the rhinestones, we'll just do uh, $2 on it. Okay, and then we have this tangle that I am going to untangle off camera, just because it's going to take me a while, I'm going to assume. And I will be right back. All right, guys, we are back. This took me forever to untangle, but I finally got it untangled and let's get into it. So let's get into all of these gorgeous natural stone necklaces. So this necklace, we have the matching earrings to this necklace. We do not this necklace. We have one of the single, we have one earring. We have this rose quartz necklace or clear quartz necklace. I think it's rose quartz with the matching earrings. We have this necklace with the matching earrings. We have this necklace without a matching earring and this necklace without a matching earring. Okay. So these are all by the same company, which is Kiki LaRue. Kiki LaRue. Um, they retailed for $55 a piece. And I'm not sure how much the earrings retailed for, but the necklaces were $55 new. I did do a quick Google search. These are listed on eBay for about $30 um, for the natural stone, like teardrop ones without the earrings. So this is what we're gonna do. Um, I'll go and show each one individually. So we have this gorgeous faux turquoise with the howlite that has that really pretty like logo. It's on a long gold tone chain. They are doubled chains. It is 28 inches plus a three and a half inch extender. So for this one without matching earrings, we are gonna do $10 on it. We have the black agate, which is the exact same measurements. And it is a gorgeous piece of black, slightly brown. So if you really see in there, it is black with brown accents. So it's black with brown and white stripes. Really pretty. We're going to do $10 on this one. We have this one that is like a tree branch and it has these little faceted crystals with a little black tassel. We're going to do $8 on this one. So $8 on this necklace. This one is a single silver tone chain. It is also... 28 inches plus a three inch extender. So $8 for this one, really pretty. Um, then we have this one. It is another double strand. It is a matte gold tune with that etched, really pretty pendant. And this one is a 18 inch plus extender. This one we are gonna do $6 on really nice. Okay. Then we have this set. So you get the gold tone and it kind of dangles like, so like they kind of like move around inside like that. Really cool. This one is a, um, 31 inch necklace plus a three inch extender. And we are going to do the necklace and earrings for $10. Okay. Then we have these sets. So again, just the necklaces are selling for $30 on eBay. I'm going to do the gorgeous marble 
This is marble, not um, how light. This is marble. With the matching earrings for $15. So that's $15 for the necklace and earrings. And I have the, they're going to do the exact same. Let's just make sure this is quartz. It is. So we have this gorgeous quartz. It's kind of clear quartz, but it does have a very slight pink hue to it. So we're going to do the necklace and earrings for 15 but here we go if someone wants all of them so 15 15 um 10 that's 40 46 56 62 72 dollars is what i said um Let's do 50 for all of them. So you're basically getting like two of them for free if you get all of them. So what I said individually for each piece or all of them for $50. So I think that is a pretty good deal if you guys are interested in that. And they're really pretty. They have very, very much like that um, Kendra Scott, you know, vibe to it. All right, next we have these. So I think I already showed one of them, but then I found the second one and I think these are supposed to be earrings. So I will put earring hooks on them. They do have a little bit of weight to them. I think we already tested them, but they came up as quartz. Yep. Real druzy. Yep. And amethyst. Yes. So quartz, druzy, amethyst, and then I think maybe hematite. If someone wants these, I will put silver tone um, ear hooks on them. We will do um, $8. $8 on the really pretty real natural stone earrings. Okay. Then we have a Alex and Ani. This one is a lotus flower. This one does have some light wear, so we'll just do $2 on this one. Then we have this really pretty. This is an adjustable bolo this is what they're called bolo when they pull like that. It is marked loft. Come on, there we go. My fingers are not cooperating today. So it's marked loft. And again, this is adjustable. Um, has these stunning, very like pastel, very like spring colors um, with a faceted, almost like Swarovski um, crystal. And then it has like the cream tassels that are in good condition. So if anyone wants the loft, we'll do $6 on the loft. That's a good syllable piece. These I Google lens because like these feel nice. They feel like they should be marked. They are not marked. Well, when I Google lens them, they are coming up as J Crew. So that's awesome. If anyone is interested in these gold tone like disc ring earrings, we will do $8. They dangle at a three inch and they're wide as a two inch. So two inch at the widest point, three inch from top to bottom. And we'll do $8 on the J Crew. Okay, then we have this really cute um, To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee. It is a faux book, so it's not a real book. It's just a little pendant. Um, I can't tell if the chain has wear or not. I think it's an antique to matte silver tone because it's the same color throughout the whole chain. Um, we'll just do $2 on that. And then we have this one that says reading. It is just a silver tone necklace. I clean right up. Um, has like a mandala on the back. Silver tone chains in good condition. Maybe a tiny bit of wear on the clasp. Um, we'll do a dollar on the reading necklace. Okay, then we have the stretch bracelet that I'll just be going into craft. Okay. Um, next, we have these absolute stunners. Now, um, I did Google lens these. They are coming up as 50s, vintage 50s um, earrings. They are screw backs. Someone has a pair listed for 50 and then someone has them listed as a set for 150 with the matching necklace. So if anyone is interested in these stunning vintage screw, um, screw back, there's a little bit of glue um, spillage. The rhinestones are slightly different shape, but um, we are just going to do $10 because of the little bit of wear that it has. So $10 for these. That's a really good deal. 
Okay, um, next we have this necklace. I want to test these stones. I have not tested these stones yet. The clasp does have some wear to it, but the chain is in good condition. Just the clasp has wear. But they have these really pretty, I think, natural stone beads with these like AB coated like black beads with these like smoky quartz kind of colored beads. It is the 34 inches. Let's just see. They are going up to like the middle of glass. Hmm. Okay, so maybe it's all glass. They do look like natural stones to me. Um, it, since it does have some more on the clasp, we'll just do $2 on it. But it's a really nice strand of like, I guess, faux stones. I like that. Okay, next we have a really nice little Alex and Ani. It is a rose gold. Um, and it says, what is for you will not pass you. And it is from 2017. It does have a tiny bit, I mean very tiny bit of wear, which I do think will clean up with a silver polishing cloth. Um, so let's do $4 on this one. Really nice rose gold. If it doesn't sell, my cousin will definitely take that. Okay, next we have these like faux leather, like faux snakeskin earrings, a dollar. By the way, guys, we forgot to do the giveaway. Okay, guys, before we go any further, um, we are going to have a little giveaway and it's a little spa night treat. So you are going to get a bath fizzer. It is a um, vanilla and rose scented bath fizzer, a holler and glow, um, Diamond powder, hyaluronic acid, and vitamin E under eye mask. I kind of wanted to go with like gold and diamonds kind of theme. This is a hydrating gold sheet mask with aloe vera, lemon balm, and hyaluronic acid. So the mask is gold and then under eyes are diamonds. And then we do have a lip mask as well and a bath fizzer. So if anyone wants to be entered for the giveaway, all you have to do is comment Easter. You can say happy Easter. You can say, you know, anything you want. Just say Easter in the comment and you will be entered for the giveaway. Again, this is not sponsored by YouTube or by any company. I'm paying this for this with my own money. I will pay the shipping if you live within the US. If you live outside of the US, I will split the shipping with you. Um, and I will pull the winner next Friday and then I will um, announce the winner on Saturday in my next video. So if you want to be entered into the little spa night giveaway, just comment Easter and you will get the under eye mask, the sheet mask, the lip mask and the bath bomb or the bath fizzer. I just thought it was a little different than, you know, jewelry or I'm trying to do like fun giveaways and I'm going to be doing giveaways every other week. So like this week I'm announcing the giveaway. Next week I'll be pulling the giveaway. Then the week after that I'll be doing another giveaway. So make sure her, make sure to hit that subscribe if you want to be, um, you know. Oh, and you must enter, you must be subscribed and you must like the video. So if you want to be entered, you have to, hit, you have to call my Easter. You have to hit subscribe and you have to like the video. That's it. All right. And I will pull the winner um, on next week. Sorry, I forgot to go over that. All right, so giveaway, make sure to enter for that. Okay, next we have these um, faux pearl. These are old. I don't know how old, but they are old. Um, I tried Google Lensing them, nothing came up. They are a vintage screw back. They do have some light wear, but they are like a very texturized, like um, iridescent faux pearl. They are just so stunning. I love them. If I had to guess, maybe 50s, maybe 60s, I don't know, but they definitely have that like 50s vibe to me. Um, and I I don't know what to price these at. If someone's interested, just send me an email and send me an offer because I don't know. They're they're nice. Okay. Next we have four pairs or three pairs. Let's see. We have these like red and navy. We have the red and black. Then we have just red on red. And if anyone is interested in all three pairs, we will just do $2. $2 for all three pairs of dangle earrings. Okay, next we have these that I think are acrylic. 
So we'll just do these with the other ones. Okay. Then we have a bunch of hoops. So let's see. We will do these little half hoops for a dollar. They're little itty bitty, perfect for layering and stacking. We have this pair that are a slightly bigger and a little bit more chrome. These ones are going to be a dollar as well. Then we have these little, I want to say like one inch hoops. Yeah, one inch hoops. These ones we'll do $2 on. Then we think these are also about an inch or so. We will also do $2 on these. Again, they're in really good condition. We have these that are also about an inch. These ones have the spring on the back. We will do $2 on those. Then we have these ones. These ones have some wear, so those will go into craft. Okay, next we have a little bit bigger, so about an inch and a half maybe. An inch and a quarter. And this is a, a three quarter hoop. I don't think they are silver. We will do again, $2 for those. This is probably about the same. Yes, an inch and a quarter. Again, this is a three quarter hoop. I think this one might have a tiny bit of wear. Um, we'll do a dollar on this pair. There's like one little spot right there, which I'm sure can clean up with a wet one, but those will be a dollar. Okay. Next we have, these are probably about an inch and a half. Yeah, these are just over an inch and a half. These will be um, $2, inch and a half. These ones are probably about two inches. Let's see. They are. These are about two inch hoops. We'll do $2. These ones are about a full, two, um, a full hoop, two inch full hoop, complete hoop, whatever you wanna call them. This is a three quarter hoop two inches, just over. We're gonna do those ones for $2. And then we have this pair that is an inch and three quarters, and we're just gonna do $2 on them. And these ones are all in good condition. All right, then we have these that are singles. And I think Selma could make some gorgeous pendants out of them. So we have this amazing one that I really wish we would've gotten the match to. These are little rice pearls. Then we have this big mother pearl shell. And then we have the little single faux Kendra. And um, these I'm going to hold on to. I can't remember if I got more boxes from this restock or not. So I'm hoping we get the matches to those. And um, that is my unboxing for the thread up. Let's go ahead and test the silver. Oh, we had this necklace that I'm still trying to untangle. Um, um, actually, I'm just gonna go ahead and throw that in craft. They are some natural stones. I think these might be citrine. Oh yeah, they're citrine. Um, but we're gonna put that in craft. Okay, before I get into that, actually, craft, everything that I said was craft, that was in put in craft. Um, I put in this little container. If I had a guess, it probably weighs about a pound, maybe. We are going to do... Um, $6 for all of craft. So that includes everything that you see, the rhinestones, the, um, hoop, the French hoops, the stretch bracelets, the tarnished hoops, a couple single earrings. Um, this is just going to be $6 if anyone wants all of craft. And I'll put in a bag and, you know, seal it up. Oh, we also got this earring that is missing the stone, which I found the stone. Where did I put it? I found the, I found the stone. Where did I put it? <laughs> oh well, I will find it and I will try and fix it. Okay, so let's go ahead and test the silver now, which we had the gorgeous turquoise bracelet. We have the hoops that may or may not be silver. We have this amazing pearl choker. Um, what else do we have that may have been silver? I think that's it. Oh, and then this necklace. Oh, and of course the James Avery, which we already tested, so we don't need to test that. Oh, guys. These were also all singles. I forgot about these. That I'm also going to put to the side in hopes that we get matches to. These are all also singles. 
that hopefully it matches to from future unboxings. So those are all singles. Okay, let's go and get testing. All right, guys. So I went ahead and scratched everything. Let's go ahead and test. Alrighty. Let's see what is silver. So this is sterling. I kind of figured. And I'm wondering if that middle stone could possibly be eyelite. I didn't even think of it earlier. But it could be an eyelite. I've had eyelite that was very similar to this color. It's like a purpley blue. Oh yeah. It is actually going to garnet tourmaline eyelite. So it could be eyelite. So stunning. I will be keeping this. These are testing as sterling. Actually, everything is testing as sterling. So that's awesome. So these are sterling. Um, if anyone wants these, um, I will Google Lens them and I will go over them really well to see if I can find a maker's mark. So I will price on the screen. All right. Next, we have this gorgeous pearl choker necklace. I, I would say this is a little bit longer than choker. This is a camera, but I think I may have measured it earlier. It's a 15 inch, so not quite a choker. Um, this is all sterling. So the wire is sterling and the clasp. That is crazy. And then this whole necklace is sterling. The little angel wings. The angel wings is sterling. And so are the little beads. The little, um, these little beads on the necklace are all sterling. Um, let's test these for Bakelite. If you don't know how to test for Bakelite, you buy Simachrome, Simachrome Polish. This is one of the re ways to test for Bakelite. Uh, this is the only way I know how to test for Bakelite. I know you can get like a hot needle and you can use that. I put way too much on here. You only need a little bit. Um, and you want this to turn yellow, yellowy orange. And it is. So this is Bakelite. That's Bakelite. Um, let's try another one just to make sure. Yep, we got Bakelite. So that's crazy. We have Bakelite again. Last week we got Bakelite in our Goodwill Blue Box. I'll link it right here. That was a really good box for Goodwill Blue Box. It was, it was pretty good for any box, to be honest. Um, so we have Bakelite, Turquoise, and Sterling on this necklace, guys. Bakelite, Turquoise, and Sterling. That's kind of crazy. Okay. Um, I kind of had a feeling. So that's Bakelite. And this is all Sterling. So this was a great box. We had the Michael Kors watch. We had the seed bead bracelets. We had the quartz earrings. We have the J. Crew earrings. We had that big, crazy, like, burlap necklace. We had those stunning, and I mean stunning, Aurora Borealis crystal necklaces. I think we had two of them. We did. So this was just a really good box. Um, You know, maybe not one of my best boxes I received, but this was a, a great box still nonetheless. Um, again, if anyone is interested in anything from this video, you can um, fill out my jot form. And you can send me an email. All right. Um, I think we got through that pretty quickly. Let me check the time and I'll be right back. All right. So as long as I can keep this fast, we should be able to unbox this as well. But before I get into that, I do have some craft wearable and bead lots that I have put together. I had several um, subscribers reach out to me asking for um, jewelry bags for crafting. So I did put some together. Um, this is 2.8 pounds of all craft, meaning there's no wearable. Um, you have rhinestones, you have more rhinestones, you have more rhinestones, you have um, pearl cabochons, acrylic beads, faux pearls, um, chains, beads, bangles, leather. There's all kinds of um, crafting in here. This way is, oh, and there's a really cool vintage like daisy necklace. There's nothing really wrong with it. It just needs to be cleaned. There's some verdigris on it. Um, it's like vintage, probably seventies. I just don't have the time to clean things. This I'm going to do $6. 
So $6 for 2.8 pounds of crafting. Okay, then we have 2.5 pounds of all beads. They are now, most of these are still on the strands. So you will have to take them off, you know, the cords. But these are all beaded necklaces. We have some like cool, unique beads. You have metal beads. You got shells. You have acrylic. You have glass. You have rhinestones. Um, you have seed beads. You have like big chunky beads. A really a good mix of um, of beads. We are going to do ten dollars for the two point five pounds of beads. Again, you have on all kinds of beads in here. So ten dollars for that. Now, mind you, shipping will be a little bit more than $5 for these. I will, you know, get a quote from Pirate Ship and then send you the invoice with the Pirate Ship quote. And then we have 2.7 pounds of wearable jewelry, meaning there might be a little bit of crafting in here. But for the most part, this would be strictly you can wear it. And you have necklaces, necklaces. There's some bracelets. Um, it's mostly going to be unbranded fashion. Um, there might be some stretch bracelets, there might be some bangles, there might be some bib necklace, there might be some beaded necklaces, but this should all be in wearable condition. And this one we are going to do $12. So $12 for the wearable jewelry lot, um, $10 for the bead lot, there's a lot of beads in there, and then $6 for the craft bag. So those are my three that I put together. If anyone is interested, feel free to send me an email. Again, I will have my email address right here. And let's go ahead and get into this sterling silver lot. So I bought this on Shop Goodwill on January 29th, 2024. I paid $178.46 shipped. I think I got it for like $160, $150 something, $160 something. And then of course shipping, um, handling, and tax. And why would I pay that much for a little itty bitty lot? Um, because it's turquoise and red jasper and who knows what else. And I really wanted um, a couple pieces in this lot. So a lot of these, there's several pieces in here that are going to be my keepers. They will not be for sale. But there will be lots of pieces um, that will be for sale. Um, I'm not going to give prices on each piece. If there's something you're interested in, you can send me an email. So this is one of the pieces that I will be keeping myself. Um, it is a gorgeous turquoise Zuni inlaid bracelet. I did find the exact same one listed online for like $200, $150, $200, $200. Um, but that is a keeper. I absolutely adore and love and collect the Zuni kind of style inlay um, bracelets. This is exactly what I would wear. Um, and I just absolutely love it. All sterling. And then I really wanted this ring. So this is an absolutely stunning turquoise inlay ring that is signed. And this necklace is, um, this um, ring is going for a good bit of money. I think I'll, I'll try and pop up a comp here and there. Um, but this is just an absolutely stunning ring and I will be keeping it. And I'll probably wear it with my bracelet. So these are the two pieces that I'm keeping. Absolutely love them. Those are forever keeps. And then these are pieces that I really love, but if any of you guys would want them, I will sell them to you guys. I'm kind of tempted to keep this red one. I just love it. I believe um, this, someone has this listed, list, um, listed online as red turquoise. Someone else has it listed as red jasper. Um, it's either red jasper or turquoise. I'm honestly don't really know the difference. Um, maybe red jasper is red turquoise and people just call it red turquoise because it looks like turquoise. I don't know, but this is a stunning bracelet. It is the, I love this style class. They are so easy to get on and off myself. I don't have to have help to get it on and off. It is marked, um, 925 MEX, 925 MEX on the clasp. I will get a length on it. Again, I will offer it to you guys first. Um, some of these might end up to a YouTube auction. I do start, I do want to start doing auctions. This is a, cause it's going to go in like that. So it's a seven and a half inch length, but because of the links, I would say this probably fits more like a seven and a quarter. No, maybe seven and a half. I would say between a seven and a quarter and seven and a half. Absolutely stunning. Um, 
if it's someone's interested in that, just send me an email. Um, next, I have this stunning statement bracelet. So this is a quite a bit of sterling on here. So it is a gorgeous, thick bezel um, with that solid sterling back. It is stamped ATI925 Mexico. It is a toggle clasp. Um, the length on this one, I think they're all probably going to be about standard. But because of the links, you have to kind of keep that in mind. Um, also about a seven and a quarter. This is absolutely stunning. And again, if someone's interested, just feel free to send me an email. Um, we can weigh them just so you can kind of see how much sterling and stone is on them. Okay, so those ones were awesome. I do have the matching pendant to go with the bracelet. And I don't know if they really came together or not, but I do think they kind of go very well together. This one is signed on the back. I just cannot make it out. It is signed something on the back. So if someone wants to buy them together as a set, that's awesome. If someone wants to buy them individually, that's also fine. Um, next we have this. This one is Shub. Shub maker's mark is a cash symbol. So that's marked 925 Shub. Um, this is a stunning turquoise inlaid pendant. And um, yeah, again, if someone is interested on the pricing, all you gotta do is send me a screenshot or a timestamp and say, how much is this piece? And I will give you a quote. I just haven't done my research on these yet. Um, this is a stunning half turquoise, half marcasite pendant. It is signed 925 and then P-A-S-F-A-S-D-A, -S -S -A -A, I don't know. Um, but it is stamped with a maker's mark. Just absolutely stunning little heart. That would be so pretty and dainty on a little sterling chain. This one I had going back and forth if I wanted to sell or not. Um, it is signed. Um, it was marked sterling, but it, the only thing that's left is ING. And it's marked LO or LC or LG. I'm not sure. Again, because it's been worn. Um, this, I believe, is native. It is stunning. It is a piece of just solid blue turquoise with a very slight veining to it right here. This one, I am keep going back and forth if I want to sell or not, but it will be up for sale if someone's interested. That is, I believe, Turk, um, that I believe that is native. These are stunning. These are stamped somewhere. <laughs> I know I saw a marking on them. Yes, they are start stamped with an M. They are stamped M on the top and then 925 right under. Right there, M925. And they have this absolutely stunning turquoise inlay all around the complete hoop of the earring. And the whole thing is sterling, obviously. So these are just absolutely stunning um, turquoise inlaid hoops. These will be for sale. I do not wear pierced earrings, so all the earrings will be for sale, obviously. And then we have these stunning, again, either red turquoise or red jasper. Um, they are stamped ATI Mexico 925. So these are from Mexico and these are stunning. Again, either red turquoise or red coral. Really pretty, solid sterling. There's a nice bit of sterling on these. And those will be for sale. So again, I don't have prices on these. I have not researched anything yet. Again, if anyone is interested in any of these pieces, feel free to send me an email um, and we can work out a price. Um, again, I did pay. <laughs> A nice bit of money for this set so just keep that in mind um but yeah i i just absolutely love this set this is why i bought the lot to be honest i think these earrings would really go cool together but they don't go exactly they're a little bit different but um yeah i i just love this set that's that's why i bought the lot i wanted that set specifically i kind of want this one but again if anyone wants it all of this will be for sale and before we go i do have these for sale these are Bella Perlina. If you don't know, that is the Bella Perlina mark. That is not Brighton. That is the Bella Perlina mark. Um, this is a, I want to say like maybe a Murano kind of style glass bead with little rhinestones around the flower. Um, I know these retail like crazy high. I don't really know what the resale value is on these, but they're really pretty. 
and we will do five dollars for this one with the Murano bead. We have this one that says live, love, laugh with a little faceted periwinkle bead with the Bella Perlina and the heart. We will do um, four dollars for this one. And then this one was unfortunate. This one is missing three stones on the pen on the charm and we will just do a dollar. It's still a good stacking bangle if someone wants to take that charm off, wear it in between these just as a spacer bracelet. But um, yeah, that was unfortunate. So if anyone wants these, these did not come in my thread up box. These were just um something I had in my own stash and I found them and I was like, oh, let me go ahead and offer these to my subscribers. So that was my box. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. Please leave a comment, say what your favorite piece was from my thread up box and or my sterling lot. And um, I will see you in the next one. Again, I will have my next video next Saturday and make sure to hit that subscribe button. I do plan on doing a jewelry auction coming soon. So I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.